hydrogen bonding and its effects on biological activity so hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding and its effects on biological activity now what is hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding like other chemical bonds is a weak force of attraction occurs between different atoms having slightly difficult electron activities so suppose we are saying here oh so oxygen atom has higher electron activity than this proton so h develops a partial positive charge and oxygen develop a partial negative charge and also there is an availability of lone pair so these three criteria determines a hydrogen bond now how many types of hydrogen bond there are two types of hydrogen bond one is intermolecular intermolecular another is intramolecular intermolecular hydrogen bonding occurs between different molecules for example for intermolecular hydrogen bonding we can show here the water molecules so hydrogen bonding can be represented here as dotted lines dotted lines this is because hydrogen bonding is very weak force of attraction and uh, the energy required for the hydrogen bonding is typically low it ranges between 1 to 10 kilocal 1 to 10 kilocal or more and usually it is 5 kilocal per mole Usually it is five kilocal. But this, that, so we can see here that different hydrogen, uh, different molecules of water are associating with hydrogen bond. This molecule, this molecule is associated to hydrogen bond. Thus, it associates more than one H two molecules, and it results in increasing aqueous solubility. Aqueous solubility tendency. Aqueous solubility tendency is increased. Is increased. While in case of intramolecular, intramolecular hydrogen bonding. hydrogen bond is occurred between the two different functional group of the same compound let's say for example this is ortho benzoic acid ortho benzoic acid and it is para benzoic acid so in these two compounds we see that intramolecular hydrogen bonding occurs between this hydrogen atom and oxygen atom and it is occurring between two different functional groups 
to define functional groups within the same molecule. So we have orthobenzoic acid that gives the analgesic action. Analgesic action. Whereas the paraenzoic acid, benzoic acid has little analgesic action, low analgesic action. Let us consider another example. And another example of 3 methyl 1 phenyl 5 pyrazodone. In case of intermolecular hydrogen bonding for this compound, let us draw the structure. It can undergo intermolecular. hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding to this so it can undergo intra intermolecular hydrogen bonding in this way So, so this type of hydrogen bonding, intermolecular hydrogen bonding, decreases water solubility. That means the compound is practically insoluble in water, insolubility. Insolubility. Decrease solubility in ether. Decrease solubility, solubility in ether, which is obviously an organic solvent. And in case of, if we consider the case of one phenyl, two, three dimethyl, five pyrazole. If we compare this compound with the intra intramolecular hydrogen bonding with intermolecular hydrogen bonding, this structure in this structure we see It cannot undergo intermolecular hydrogen bonding because of the presence of this methyl group. So, for this compound, it is water soluble, water soluble, slightly soluble in ether, slightly soluble in ether, and it also has the analgesic activity analgesic activity is present
in hydrogen bonding we know that there is a chance of very high solubility uh, very high uh, melting point and boiling point of this compound so in case of intermolecular bonding the, the melting point is of this compound is 127 degrees celsius because of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding the melting point drastically increased in case of intramolecular hydrogen bonding intramolecular hydrogen bonding uh, the melting point decreases to 112 degrees celsius which is much much lower than the first compound here similarly take an example of antipyrin Antipyrin. Antipyrin. This compound also has analgesic activity. Analgesic activity. So how hydrogen bonding influences antipyrin? So if we draw the structure here. This is the structure of antibody. So here, the chances of hydrogen bonding, intermolecular hydrogen bonding, is low because of the presence of this CS3 group. But if we substitute this with H, if we substitute, substitute this with H. Then we see that the chances of hydrogen bonding, the chances of hydrogen bonding increases. So this is also um, is insoluble in water and so no analgesic activity as an antibody. Similarly, if we consider, similarly. If we consider nitrophenol, nitrophenol, ortho nitrophenol, and ortho benzoic acid, and also ortho nitrophenol also, the chances of intramolecular hydrogen bonding is more. And in case of oxygenated acid, so this is salicylic acid. We know that salicylic acid and is the active form of salicylic acid having an uh, active form of orthobenzoic acid having the analgesic acid. So we can say here that so hydrogen bonding has also a great implication in drug receptor interactions. We know that hydrogen bond is uh, a such type of bond that maintains protein stability. So, hydrogen bonding, importance of hydrogen bonding, importance of hydrogen bonding, okay. importance of hydrogen bonding is a protein stability. Protein stability.
because we know that protein has uh, four types of structure okay? that is one degree structure, two degree structure, three degree structure and quaternary structure. So all these structures are stabilized, uh, stabilized in uh, some point by hydrogen bonding. And also we say that the integrity of the biological system, so hydrogen bonding is essential, is essential for integrity, integrity of biological systems, biological systems and also drug receptor, drug receptor interaction. Interaction. So we have also seen. We have also seen that that how it affects affects the site of action, the the um, transport of drug at the site of action. Because uh, as long as hydrogen bonding is there, we see that um, the drug cannot transport to its site of action, and the concentration of drug at the site of action is very much important for its therapeutic effect. In the next video, we will discuss about ionization and the effect of PKA on the biological activity of drugs. Thank you.